What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you all how to install a magazine tube extension for your Remington 870, 1100, or 1187. Let's get down to business. So before we get started on anything at all, number one, safety first. Let's make sure she's empty. Okay, we got nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine tube. Okay, we are empty, so we are ready to go. All right, so let's get started. Let's go over what we're going to need to do this and how we're going to do it and all the parts we need and all the tools. So before we get started, you're going to need a couple tools. I'm using my Fix-It Sticks driver with a flathead bit, the large flathead bit. I am using just a nut driver with an 8 millimeter socket. I have a small brass hammer, also dead blow on this end. And I have the magazine tube detent swage for Remington 12 gauge shotguns. Now, what this tool is, and I'm sure you're curious, what happens is, okay, on your newer Remingtons, okay, they have in the magazine tube a couple detents that hold the, um, I guess you would call it a, a spring lock. And what has to happen is for you to go ahead and put a magazine tube extension on the shotgun, you need to either grind them out, drill them out, or you can use this swage where it actually rounds them back out. This is actually the best way to do it, in my opinion, because it doesn't leave gaping holes in your magazine tube for debris, dirt, water, moisture, all that, so it keeps it more sealed up, a little bit better at least. So this is the way I do it. I got this tool off of eBay, and it was like $35. So if you're going to do this, Highly recommend you going and getting this tool. I will post the link in the description for y'all. Lastly, before we get started, we got to make sure we got all our parts. So we have our new spring that comes in the kit. We have our magazine tube extension. We have our billet follower that comes in the kit as opposed to the factory plastic one. And we have our magazine tube extension barrel clamp. This supports the tube so that it doesn't flex or vibrate loose or anything. It keeps it nice and solid for you. So just make sure you got all your parts there. And this, ac this one actually has a swivel stud for a sling. Okay, so let's get started on disassembling our shotgun so we can go ahead and get down to business with installing our extension on our magazine tube. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to come up here to the forend, the top here, and we're going to remove this magazine tube nut. We're going to slide our forend off, which will explode, expose this. Go ahead and open up the breech, take our barrel off, go ahead and take our flathead. And all you're going to do is just press down, twist, and it will come right out just like that. Remove our spring and our spring lock. Put those to the side on the bench. Take our shotgun, and we will go ahead and try and get our follower out. You may have to spin it with your finger because them detent. Uh, there you go. See how it's got them two lines in it, the grooves? That is for your detent. See the detent here? It's got two of them here, so we need to round them out. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our swage tool, and she fits in there just like that. Look at that. See our detent right there? All right, we're gonna take a little bit of gun oil, just to be safe, because we are going to Go ahead and tap this in with a hammer, but metal to metal parts, I like to put a little bit of oil just to make sure that they move freely as they should. So we'll take a little bit of oil and we'll go ahead and lube this swage up so that it can slide freely. 
don't want it to hang up and stick and tear anything. We would just want it to slide nice and smooth and form that tube back to its original round state. If you have an older Remington, they do not have these. The newer ones have these. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the shotgun. We're going to plant it nice and firmly on the floor here again and lean it up against the bench. We're going to push this in with our finger until it stops. And you're going to take this and just give it a couple good whacks. And you'll see it starting to go down and see how it's starting to, to get them and detents out, starting to push them out. You know, flip over the dead blow. We have a very big hammer, but yeah, you can see it press them detents right out there for you. And that's not going to come out. I'm we'll probably have to get a pair of channel locks real quick from my tool bin. We'll be right back with y'all. All right, so now that we have our swage in and it was not really cooperating very much, I did put some oil on it. Uh, but what I had to end up doing was I went and got my Wheeler Engineering uh, roll pin kit and I took one of the punches and I'm gonna lay it here on the magazine tube uh, against the lip of the swage. And we're just going to go ahead and tap it back out. I did have to tap on it a little bit to get it to loosen up. Um, but once you just get in here and just flip it over, we're gonna lay it here, and we'll just tap this side as well. Flip it over again. And this now. This is going to go. Flip it back over. You want to do this evenly on each side. That way you're not pushing it left or right and messing up your magazine tube. That's how you get your swage out. You can see where it, it caught the dimple right there. See that on both sides? Now if you come back here and you look at your magazine tube, see where that dimple used to be? If you look in there, you see there's just a very, very slight, slight little bit in there. But it's nice and smooth now, and we are good to go. All right, so we are going to go ahead and reassemble our shotgun. So, we're going to take the new follower that comes in the kit, and we're going to just drop it right down like that. Make sure the bolt is forward when you go to install the barrel. So, we're going to take the barrel, and it just goes on like this, right over the magazine tube, like that. And we're going to pull back a little bit. I have to tap it. So... After you put the swage in, you're probably going to have to tap it a little bit just to get it in. Just a little bit right there. Nothing crazy. And it'll fall in past that little swage spot. But pull back on the barrel and the bolt and it'll fall together. You're going to take your forend just like this. Okay, just gonna go ahead and like this. Okay, got the fore end on. Take your new spring. Take your magazine extension, and you're just gonna press it down like that and thread her on like normal. Give it a good snug. Okay. So now we are ready to go and install the barrel 
tube clamp. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here to the top of the barrel, slide it down, okay, like that. You wanna put it about in the middle, so you put it there, and this piece is threaded. So all you gotta do is just spin it with your fingers like this. Okay. And then you'll just need some kind of a tool with a pin. This is just an old punch I had laying around. And you'll just spin it like that to get it tight enough to where you like it. But not be crazy. Okay, looks good. All right, and then you'll just take that little nut that comes with the kit and spin it on like so. Just spin it on like that. Okay, and you'll take your eight millimeter nut driver and you'll just give it a little snug like that until it stops. Just give it a little snug. That's all you need. And there you have it. Magazine tube extension installed. Thanks for watching. Check back for more videos. I'll have some more content on this for you. I'm going to be doing a few things to this gun specifically. Um, but thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Have a great one.